Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three three minute rounds in the amateur welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing Spartacus MMA, Sebastian Nielsen. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Apex MMA, Flynn Cara. Here we go then, back into welterweight action. Sebastian Nielsen. Spartacus MMA in those black shorts. Ooh. And he's fighting Flynn Cara from Apex MMA in the, in the tighter black shorts. And these guys have come out swinging straight away, Nick. A and Sebastian just closed that distance. Both guys powerfully built. <clears throat> nice shot there on the left hand from Nielsen. First nice angle on that shot. I really like how he took that shot. He took it from the outside, then came back in. And it was Good swift. job. Good job by Nilsson, though, to get mm. back to that wizard, get back to a standing base. <laughs> nice dump throw for Flynn. So Cara's ending up on top here. And with that, he's done the smart thing because he's done it right by his corner so he can oh. get coached. But great sweep by Nilsson. Wow. That was fantastic stuff from Nilsson to sweep. It looked like he might be mounted. Ooh. Nilsson is throwing some heavy shots. And he's throwing that right hand just. Whoa! Oh. Huge left hand there from Nilsson, and I don't think Cameron knows where he is. This is no, this, this is, is all trouble. muscle memory right here. That sat Cara down, and you could see right into his eyes in front of us. They were all over the place. The thing, though, is, I mean, Cara did a really good job of muscle memory of, I got to get the takedown to clear the cobwebs. And that's exactly what he's done. And right now, everything is cruise control. He's just trying to clear those cobwebs out. This is what I've done in the gym. Go to the body, little spin, try to look to get to mount. Nilsson desperately trying to get back to his feet. Yeah, because Nilsson's like, I had a lot of success with this. I want to do some more of it. He knows he can hurt Kara. Kara looks like all the cobwebs are now cleared out. He seems to be getting a strong base underneath him. That shows some real composure, doesn't it? This is his debut fight as well, although Nilsson now has swept him again. He's back into full mount. And this is bad for Kara. And for Kara, though, it's about controlling the top and then looking to see, okay, when can I explode out? As long as he's not taking any damage, he should be fine. And you've got 15 seconds or so to work. Kara fighting his way up. And that's what it was. It was just pure strength. There wasn't a lot of technique there, but he didn't need to use a lot of technique. He was able to bridge up, and he has just, I mean. Why don't we throw some uppercuts here from Nilsson. He knows he can hurt Carroll. Let's see if he can do it again in the second round. He comes out swinging a huge right hand. Oh, oh my God. He pulled him again. And again, Kara shoots in for that double leg to look to try to clear those cobwebs. Kara just goes into, into cruise control, doesn't he? He gets, he gets clipped and then immediately jumps on the takedown. And, really good composure. And there he is now trying to go for the triangle, and he's actually got it locked in. What a turnaround this would be. And he's looking to TP it because he does have the wrong angle on it right now. It's nice and tight. It's Nilsen's, nice and tight. I think Nilsson's going to pull out. There he is. Yep. He's going to end up on top. But again, this is all muscle memory. He was rocked that entire time. None of this was things where he was consciously thinking of doing it. Nilsson's dropped Kara twice with heavy shots. And twice Kara's managed to work his way through it. And Nilsson's now got a nice crucifix position. Now this is amateur, so don't be looking for your elbows to be dropped down. But he's trying to move in the mount, which he's got. And Kara again uses that bridge up. He's got to start to try to work those hips away or look to do a bridge sweep. Nilsson can't posture up though just yet because Kara is live underneath him. Oh. 
I mean, Karen not taking any damage from bottom, but also he's not in that position to be able to move. And one of the things Nilsson's doing is he was putting his chest right on top of Kara's mouth, which makes it difficult to breathe. Making it uncomfortable for Kara here. Look at that, though, again from Kara. And a really good job by Kara just to go back to those legs. He will not quit. And then Nilsson. Oh, Ooh, Kara with the uppercut, which I assumed it would be Nilsson that would throw it first. And this is really good stuff here again from Kara. Gets the takedown. Kara sat that double leg up off going high. He actually threw a high kick that landed as a knee. Went right up the center, and that leg hadn't come around yet. And as Nilsson was coming in, it was a knee. Didn't land flush and clean. Now Nilsson looking to power his way up. He's getting some shots for his trouble on the way up. And Kara's giving up his back. And again, Nilsson's instantly working for Mount. Here he is deep for an arm triangle. He's in the right position. All he has to do is slide that arm all the way through. Is he going to have time? He's only got 10 seconds. I think he's just going to be content just to end the round on top. Round a couple of punches. Third and final round there between Flynn Kara and Sebastian Nilsson. You'd say Nilsson... Won the first two with those heavy shots, which sat Kara down in both rounds. But Kara's still here and fighting. And now Nilsson pressing forward. Kara immediately working for the takedown. And, and a got great it. body lock sweep takedown. And now Kara's corner's telling him to secure his base. And Nilsson does a really good job of that sweep, that hip sweep that's he's attempting to do right now. You can see he's trying to get that right angle to be able to hip sweep over that'll put him right in the mount. Kara's got to be careful, try to get his hips down. That right hand locket on the body, he's trying to use it as that brace to hold it from getting swept, but it's allowing Nielsen then to get his chest a little bit farther away. And if he can get that butterfly guard in there, he's going to be able to do that sweep again. I mean, Kara's doing a good lockdown job here, but he's not doing a ton of damage. He's going to have to look to try to pass, maybe get to half guard. Yeah, he's not really scoring, is he? I mean, one of the biggest things behind it is he's got to look for a way that he can finish this fight. And from this position, there's not going to be a way for him to finish the fight. Referee Dan Mahabi is watching closely. Ooh. Good job to catch. Take that right elbow, push it down on that knee, and then look to step over. Because if you know, notice that that far leg by Nielsen is right up on the hip. So if he can, and that's why he's doing it, because he's using it for that sweep. He's got to push it down like he has now, step over, and now he can look to start raining down some punches. It's now or never for Flynn Cara, 50 seconds left. He needs to get some heavy damage landed or stop the fight if he wants to win it. And he's finally in that right position. He's got that or the leg isolated. He's in full side control. He can go knee on belly here and then just look to posture up and start throwing some punches. And there's a sweep again from Nilsson though. And that sweep was predicated by him not putting enough pressure on his hips. And now he's back where he wants it. Kara has to land something Hail Mary-esque if he wants to win this fight. Kara's got to keep them hands up. Nice double leg entry and finish. Really good wrestling by Kara. He's going to run out of time, I think. At the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have the belt 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Sebastian Nielsen!